adventure, darkness, horrors. Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Book of Demons. Odin, our incredibly powerful tanky warrior, has reached level 21 and so he now actually looks like a pretty decent tank. Look at this, we've got ourselves a gold shield with a little lizard on it. A little pavecraft lizard, it's absolutely awesome. Right, uh, we are at the point where we're about to run down and take on the Antipope. We've spent enough money that we can't really do anything up here, but we've upgraded our Shadow Sword, so now we're getting two extra attacks in a large range. Our shield blocks 70% of missiles coming in. Can we upgrade anything else before we go down? We've only got four mana left, so we don't really want to do too much. Doesn't look like it. Not without getting more cards. We could maybe do the Amulet of Life, but then we've, we've only got one mana left over. So it's probably not worth us doing that. Uh, let's just get straight on down and see what this mission has for us. Uh-oh. Time to join my dark flock, adventurer. On your knees. Well, uh, you know, buy, buy me dinner for- Wait, what the fuck? Uh, no. Reject, false idols. All you need is faith. Faith in the archdemon. <laughs> I, I want my cards back. Oh, holy shit. No. 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 Yes. Sort of. Yes. Yes. All right. Inventory. Let's swap this over. Shield goes down here. Oh my god, they can still move while you're in the inventory. Okay. So, Mighty Blow goes over here. That's number two. Okay, we can, we can probably take care of these and get back. Okay, right. Let's reorganize properly. Mighty Blow, Poison Bomb, no. That's going to be heal eventually. That's a no. That's a no. We'll keep the skeleton belt on for the moment. There's my burning axe. Burning axe comes back down here. Amulet of mana comes across here. Damn lizarded things. Can't equip stolen. Okay, let's go and take them on. One at a time until we get round there. Ooh, that was a bit dangerous, wasn't it, guys? I love that as a as a surprise though. I, I was totally not expecting that. Poison flail, yeah, why not? We'll have it equipped for the moment. We still need to be regenning though. Either the amulet of healing or um, healing potions would do us wonders at this point. Either of those, and I'd be quite happy with it. Hell no, we're just gonna like smack you down. Come a little bit closer. Whew. Oh god, no, archers. Let's back off a little bit. We don't... Oh no, we do have bloody armor and our shield. So we've got our stay alive things. And there is a healing fountain right there, actually. It may not be too bad. 
we are going to head back and take care of that damn skeleton archer though. As soon as I've killed these wild hogs. We'll take off that frozen flail shortly as well. You are dead. So dead. Get you gone as well. Legendary survivor. That'll be for killing a thousand zombies, I suspect. Which is another thing that we've totally deserved, given the way that all this has gone. Fist him quickly before he actually attacks us. Right, is that all the mobs that we've created from uh, picking up cards so far? If so, we can start grabbing some more carefully. Helmet. Well, it'll, it'll do for the moment, I guess. Try and keep the fists on him to make this an efficient death. Right. That's this area fully explored. Let's, uh, let's head on back and grab the rest of our equipment cards. Now, has anything else been unlocked? I don't think so, but we want the Amulet of Life and we want our Healing Potion. I think those are the... Uh, yeah, so Amulet of Life will go, like, here. Healing Potion will go here, and Shadow Sword will go here. We'll keep the Skeleton Belt on for the moment, and uh, the Helmet, well... May as well, I guess. Oh, just dodge that. I know with the with the helmet we would have avoided being stunned by it anyway, but uh, still could have been dangerous. That's the throw skill. We don't care about that. Come on, finish burning. I don't want to waste hearts. Not today. Come on, let's kill them quickly. We'll grab that one heart off the ground. Okay, let's have a look at our inventory. What did we just get? Because I wasn't paying attention. I think we may have got... Well, we got the throw skill. Nothing that we really want. We care about the Amulet of Life, we care about the Shadow Sword, and we care about the Healing Potion, which is there. All of them are locked. Let's go back to that fountain, and then we'll carry on up that way. If I'd known, I might have sold some of these, uh, these cards back in town. Assuming that's even possible. That is a bit of an assumption, actually. Mm, that doesn't look like a good place to go. Let's grab this. We'll back up a little bit. It's only boots. I haven't even got to use my shadow sword. That's the that's the really annoying bit of this. Right, balance ring again. Not something that's what we cared about. Let's kill this quickly. Blow. No, I have mighty blowed on him. Oh well. Perfectly timed. Grab this one. Blade Storm. Still not the one that I want. Is that a Mirage Lance though? Oh god. The rank has gone up and I'm frozen. Fine. Punch you until you're dead. 
And then we'll just focus on this guy. And by healing things, I'm not too fast. Kill them in the correct order. There we go. Alright. We're doing okay, people. We're doing okay. Definitely not going to walk through that. That looks like a bad idea waiting to happen. Keep an eye on our health and use that healing potion. Uh, sorry, healing fountain when we get a little bit lower. Let's stop the poison. Let's use it now, and that will regen before we need to engage with it again. You destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. I think we'll go for this one next. Amulet of life. Hooray! All of the hooray. I don't mind about the spider that's going to drop down next to us. Come back. Come back, Mr. Spider. There you are. Okay, we will swap that frozen flail over with the Amulet of Life back how it should have been. That frees up a little bit more mana, so we can swap the Skeleton Belt over with the um, Shadow... Ooh, we've got the Shadow Sword back as well. Let's take the helmet. Alright, so all we need now is that Health Potion. Finish our exploration down here. And down this side one as well. Well, it's a healing spell. Uh, stop casting your charge thing. Ah, oh, look at that shadow sword. This is what I'm talking about. Wait until the fire dies down so that we've got a good plan for what's going on. Disarmor, well that was the interesting spell that um, we decided not to go for. Alright, was there anything else down here? Any barrels or anything? No. Just making sure that I've properly explored as we go on. It, it would be irresponsible not to. Let's take that heal out because as soon as we get the uh, health potion back, uh, there's only a couple of things that have still been stolen. As soon as we get the health potion back, we can put that in. Firebomb, well, let's, uh, let's try it out, actually. That actually threw a lot of fire around. Still throwing fire? How many... How many bombs do you throw while it's going on? Number of bombs, five. That was way more than five. I know that I'm complaining, that's just like, wow. Maybe the Shadow Sword made it throw more. Let's, uh, let's take it out again. Are you my health potion? No, you're my ice bomb. Tote's dead. Tote's murdered. Maybe this is my, uh, my health potion. Ice bomb goes down. Yes, it is. And unsurprisingly, uh, it tried to make things a lot more difficult. And I think that was um, someone charging in on us, but uh, they rather failed there. Fist you. See, I don't mind now because I'm back to my normal regening self. Super regening, shadow sorting, setting everything on fire. Yeah, much better. This is how the game is meant to be played. At least this is how my build is meant to be played. Let's just finish this exploration down here. Gold footprints all the way back.
All right. I think we should go have an argument with the uh, with the anti pope about stealing other people's stuff. I mean, I'm an adventurer. It's supposed to be my job to do that. Can we actually? Yes, we can. And those are mystery doors. Let's explore round first. That doesn't look ominous at all. Too weak to face me without your puny cards? Uh, yeah. Very well, it will be more educational when the will of Archdemon breaks you! To me, faithful! Don't steal my cards again. Go to hell! Alright, just little skeletons. Fine. I can take on little skeletons. Ah, oh, I nearly stopped him casting spells. Did they just teleport? That's fine. Let me rekindle your faith. Oh god, there's a hell of a lot of them. That's fine. We can cope with these guys. Did you know hell can actually freeze over? Look at my shadow sword go! Look at it go! Isn't it a glorious card, that one? Uh, no, no, and oh, I nearly stopped them all. Obviously we are poisoned, we need to stop that at some point, but let me just clear some of these things out. Right, now we can get on to that. Stabity, 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 all the stabity. We are pretty powerful, all things considered. Let's not be poisoned and stand in the fire at the same time. Get some super mighty blow fisting on him. Can't stop both of those spells, that's uh, not cool. This is very, very mental, right. Let's try and kill out some of these supporting mobs, because they are not a help of things at all. I don't mind the wild hogs so much, but everything else needs to die. I should have been watching my um, uh, my damn experience bar to see if I get the experience for each of these mobs that we're killing. Alright, that thing's cleared down a lot, and he's very nearly dead. Which seems like a good thing for us. Go to hell! And that will do it. <laughs> that looks like a nice fat stack of cash. Oh wow, look at that. So, breaking the ritual, defeat the anti pope with any hero. Let's get all this. We were on about 16k. Moon rune, moon rune, eh, three moon runes. Now, can we actually go through these and do they just bring us out? Yeah, they do. I thought they might have done something like that. There's three barrels still left somewhere. Let's suck through. There's one, there's one. I do want to get that last barrel wherever it is. There it is. Level clear. I was a little bit worried at the start of that. And that would have been quite dangerous to go in without our cards. 
Now we've missed something, and I I need to to get the golden footprints on on every level because it's it's something that I must have. So let's make sure that we've explored all the way around here properly. Now we've gone all the way down there. And all the way down that one. And all the way down that one. So where have we missed those golden footprints? Maybe it's back this way. Apologies, I will finish the level in just a moment. I've just got to find where this, uh, this last bit was. Could have been down here, perhaps. Yeah, actually in that tiny room. Okay, let's let's hurry to the exit. What I wouldn't give for a teleport spell. And that is actually one of the uh, the cards that the uh, mage has. One of the things that I uh, I like about the new classes as they're implementing them is they have they have very different drops for, for things that they have as their standardized car, uh, class cards. Hmm. And that didn't actually do it all either. That only did that section. But let's check down further. You may want to, to skip ahead just a couple of moments. Oh, no, Every, everything has been done this way. It must just be um, because the end room doesn't have specific rooms to move into. Like, it's all doors and teleporters. I suppose I could try going through each of them just in case there's a secret door. Yeah, that that's all it was was one space because the door hadn't been opened. Let's head on into town. Oh, uh, so yeah, head on down into hell and also head back to town very quickly. Well, hey, they love me. They love me. I think we should probably uh, talk. Oh, to them. the antipope is dead. Thank you for ending his reign. I'm sure the heavens would prefer me to be the one who brought him down and balanced the scales of justice. But I would never be brave enough to carry out such a courageous quest. Oh, Moreover, you, you sell yourself I short. I think you'd be brave. Life, so taking one, even one so twisted by evil as his, goes against that oath. I shall thank the heavens for sending you to our aid. Uh, you could also just, you know, thank me, but whatever. Okay. What's in the cauldron? There's seven prizes, there's three life. That's not really worth 8,000, so we're, we're not going to do that at the moment. We've only got 20k. Uh, we've got nothing to identify. We could charge that bomb card but we'll probably find that as we're down in the dungeon so let's have a look at our upgrades very quickly um, we're actually in the same place that we were a moment ago and I think that is uh, yeah that's waiting on us getting more mana and uh, then deciding which of those we want to do. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, this foray into fighting the Antipope. And uh, just a reminder that this is Book of Demons. This is an early access game that's available on Steam at the moment. And if you're enjoying this, maybe consider checking it out. The link will be in the description below. And I think right at this moment there's a bit of a Steam sale on and there's 30% off. Uh, so it might be worth picking it up now. The game is constantly being added to and balanced, and uh, this is only like the most basic difficulty that I'm on at the moment. Uh, so it does get more challenging and complicated. Um, but join me again next time when we push down into hell. I'll see you soon.